Good morning all. This is my first live of 2023. It's a strange thing to say, isn't it? As you can see, we've got Sanyon, Musso, Saracen. So you can get an EX, you can get a Rebel, you can get this. You can also get the Rhino. I'm out and about today, so bear with me. Just make sure I don't slip over. One heck of a pickup. For a start, it's the only one in the UK that will tow and carry a ton on the back simultaneously. And that's a three and a half ton towing limit as well with a brake trailer. Carry a pallet on the back. And they're all four cabs. So perfect for families. The other great thing about it is it's built on the Rexton. So it's like an SUV experience. And as we know, the Rexton, hell of a vehicle. Yeah, it might not be as refined as, say, X5 or whatever. No independent suspension and ladder chassis, but it means it's pretty capable, like these, going off-road and towing for England. Things like stock cars. So this is the latest version. And of what I've read, they've made it more economical, which means they must have tuned the 2.2 under the bonnet. An auto box and you get a four wheel drive system with four high, four low, and I think there's a rear shift lock. I'll have to double check. Mind you, that's all in material for the time being because tomorrow we take it green laning. And as you can see around here, there's snow, and this is Lancaster. So imagine what it's going to be like near Oxon Park. So, with a bit of luck, we'll have some water to splash through. And we'll have oh, some interesting rocks. There's limestone up there, combined with ice. Mmm, fun. So it should be scrabbling all over the shop, which will make for some good footage. It's an aggressive looking pickup, and it always has been. The thing is, San Young have been doing this kind of thing for about 68 years. They've got the hang of the four befores. So we've had this now be two weeks on Monday but you've seen the weather it's either been rainy blustery or icy but icy much more preferable so our aim tomorrow is to go and find some real interesting trails because I don't know if we've actually tested this in snow and ice I mean, it's got a decent ride height that's the thing. You look at the front bumper and it looks deceptively low. But when you get it off-roading, it isn't. It's perfectly fine. So I've looked. Thank you for the thumbs up. And yeah, it's great to be back, to be honest. I'm a lot more energised, as you've probably seen from the stories. We've even bought a running machine. Because last year, with all the challenges, yeah, hint there, it's, uh, yeah... It's been one heck of a year. So this year, we're fully back into it. We've also got another pickup coming in about a month. And if you want to know about rapid chargers, we've got one of those coming. Yeah, now that's going to really confuse you. Right, let's have a look in the back. Whoa. Very, very, very slippy. Whoa. And it's locked itself. So keyless entry. I think it's killer sentry. Is it just might just be a remote actually? Oh, oh my word. It's getting all over the shop here. So yeah, lovely and roomy. Yeah, you find hard plastics, but it works with pickups, doesn't it? Makes them easy to clean. Dual zone, heated steering wheel, heated and ventilated seats, faux leather of some description. I suppose that's the thing about this cabin. It's very dark, which plays right into my ballpark, but yeah, a lot of manufacturers are going that way, to be honest. Depend on trim, depends on what features you get, trim, etc. Right, so let's have a look at what's changed. 
doing a penguin walk. Let's fold it its mirrors in. So yeah, it's not changed that much, but what they have done is use like a, I suppose a carbon fiber styling type thing for the front grill. And I think it's a Saracen Nupples, which is likely this in Rhino, have this new look. And I think it looks far more aggressive, to be honest. The thing is, the Musso's always looked a handsome pickup. It may not be as raw as, say, Raptor and D-Max and that, but the bottom line is, it does have its place, and that's primarily towing, but yeah, they do a good job off-road. The one thing that is, it's not questionable per se, but it's wading depth. There's not really one listed. I think it's about three or 400 mils, something like that. Is that right? Is that 0.4 of a metre? But the bottom line is, it'll do way more than that. And if you put a snorkel on it, well, yeah, no limits. Thank you for the thumbs up. So yeah, I think we'll leave it there. So join in with us tomorrow, because if we can find a signal, we'll come live from Oxen Park. That's if we can get up there. What am I? That's just foolish talk, isn't it? We're in a pickup, we're in a musso, four wheel drive. Of course we'll get up there. Anyway, have a great day and thanks for joining me. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I forgot about prices. I'll just check that. I think these start at about 24, excluding that. This one's probably closer to 30. Let's have a quick glance. Oh, it's locked itself again. Oh, by the way, we've got some Bentley stuff coming and there's an Arona video going out in the next few days. Do I have any prices here? I will have, but as you can see, this is like a dossier. Pretty much everything. By the way, I'm getting about 28 to the gallon. I think, well, let's just say the, the range starts at 24 and we'll go from there. I'll update you, obviously, on the full review. Thank you. Bye-bye.